All right, here's another celebrity who is all about sharing mouth-watering recipes around the country. Hungry Girl, Lisa Lillian joins us now and has a new cookbook out. It's called Obsessed, and all of these recipes are under 375 calories, which I love because I'm trying to lose the caboose. <laughs> Always, we all are. <laughs> How many cookbooks do you have out right now? Uh, well, this is the 12th Hungry Girl book, believe it or not. Wow, and so successful. It's, it's been amazing. I love creating guilt-free recipes. I just love to be a mad scientist in the kitchen. <laughs> How did you come up with creating all of these unique recipes and become interested in it? Well, I've always been what I call a foodologist because I have no degree and I'm not a trained chef in any way. And I am a bit of a mad scientist because I love to eat and I love big portions and I want to eat the foods I want to eat and still fit into my clothing. I love this. And all of the recipes in this, in this cookbook are under 375 calories. Obsessed is the name. You have to pick it up. These are all about foods that we can't live without. Exactly. Things that we think are not good for us. Yeah. Things we can't eat, we think, if we're trying to be good and trying to be healthy. Pizza, french fries, mac and cheese, burgers, brownies, donuts. Oh my gosh, Everything you're my new crave. best friend. <laughs> Let's go over some of the recipes that you have here. Let's start with the oatmeal. So this is a dessert inspired growing oatmeal, less than 300 calories for a huge serving. And my growing oatmeals are famous for being huge. And the way I achieve that is by using twice as much liquid and cooking the oats for twice as long and then letting it grow. This one happens to be chocolate flavored, so that's even Yummy. better. It's that's an amazing me. dessert. It that, is so good. Yes, that's my A plus right there. I mean, a dive in after <laughs> we are finished talking. Let's move on to the pizza that you brought. It's squash crust so, cheese pizza? Yeah, so there's a whole chapter on pizza in this book. And instead of using heavy, carby, bread-like crusts, a lot of the time I substitute produce. Mm -hmm. So here we're using yellow squash that you just grate and microwave and turn into a crust that you bake, and then you add your pizza toppings. Yummy. And what you get is a pizza for less than 300 calories. That is so delicious. Less than 300 calories. 271 calories for the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's move on to the squash lasagna. So this is a different type of squash, but yeah. one that I love just as much. This is spaghetti squash, which is another great pasta swap. This book, there's a theme of using produce instead of starches. So this is like a lasagna, only instead it uses spaghetti squash and it uses lean ground beef and reduced fat cheeses. And then you bake that up. And the serving size is huge. Yeah, For 215 is. calories, you get a tremendous Are serving. Are you kidding me? No, See, I like... always think if you're going to watch your calories, you have to starve. But you don't have to starve with this cookbook, Obsessed, that you need to pick up today. She's going to be signing books tonight. I'll tell you all about it in just a few minutes. Let's look at the tater tachos. These are tachos. Which, <laughs> like, tachos are a new thing, right? I've never so heard of tater tachos. Tachos are like tater tot nachos, yeah. but mine use cauliflower instead of potatoes. So the key here, cauliflower is a magical ingredient that was not popular for so many years but I say cauliflower is the new black and these tachos <laughs> again like 210 calories for a tremendous serving so you have all of your favorite nacho toppings on top of these cauliflower tots and wow. I mean kids love it You'll fool everyone. It's great for game day. I mean, it's you, the best. Oh, my gosh, yeah. When the Broncos, you know, take on the Raiders and crush them the coming up this weekend. All right, you can Broncos. make these. Um, <laughs> how many recipes? Do you know how many recipes are in your book? Yeah, Obsessed? over 150 are in this book. This is great. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's like I work like mad to try to keep creating. And I don't want people to be bored. That's yeah. the biggest problem. People get bored when they're eating things they think are healthy, and you don't have to be bored. That's why I like that you call yourself a mad scientist in the kitchen. Let's move on to the dessert. Is this really peanut butter pie? That's a peanut butter pie and each slice, which is big because that's yes. eight servings, 192 calories for the peanut butter pie. And I love this recipe so much. It's one of my favorites because the crust is made of oatmeal. So that's a brilliant thing to do mm -hmm. instead of a, a, you know, a carbier crust. It's a healthier crust. And then inside, you're going to love this, powdered peanut butter. I don't know if you know anything about nope, powdered peanut butter. It's a way to achieve full peanut butter flavor without all the fat. So it's defatted peanuts. That's one of my magic ingredients in this. Also Greek yogurt, reduced fat cream cheese. There's some real peanut butter in there as well, but the way to really get a big serving and cut the calories is with a few swaps. Well, and it sounds like it's really fun to make too. Not oh, totally. only are you, you losing the weight watching the calories, but you get to enjoy a delicious peanut butter pie and, and have some fun making it too. Absolutely, kids can make this. It's hardly any baking involved. You bake the crust for about 10 minutes, but the rest you just mix in a bowl and let it chill in the fridge. It's also great frozen. I'm sure you've heard this before. I'm gonna be one of those people. So you have to tell me what you say to people like me. I'm not good in the kitchen. 
Everybody says that. Yeah. I know, I hear that all the time. That's why when I started writing cookbooks, I said, I don't want anything confusing. I don't want ingredients you've never heard of. I don't want, you don't have to sift flour. You don't have to do anything that people find intimidating. It's anyone will feel like a chef with this cookbook. Wow. Okay, quick ideas. I know you have another book coming out because you are just always working and always creating new stuff. Do you have any ideas for your next book? Yeah, I mean, people have been requesting things like Make a Head. Uh -huh. They love Slow Cooker. Instant Pot. So I think something along those lines you, you might see coming out of the Hungry Girl world. You are so talented. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming on and giving us a sneak peek. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You can meet the Hungry Girl, Lisa Lillian, tonight at 7 o'clock. Bring a big appetite to the Tattered Cover Bookstore in the Aspen Grove. You can also visit Lisa online. Go to hungry-girl.com. Now, her website is full of out-of-the-norm recipes, diet tips, and even information about a Hungry Girl cruise. So you have to check it out. That's going to be a lot of fun.